Hello, uh, my name is Ahmed Al Harthi. I am a racing driver from uh, Oman, and I race for Oman Racing Team in the GT3 Championships, both in the UK and in Europe. The race car that I'm currently racing is a Aston Martin uh, Vantage GT3. It's powered by a V12 engine, which uh, produces uh, over 700 horsepower. Um, but in our championship, those horsepowers are controlled uh, within the championship regulations, obviously. Um, it is a, um, a proper built race car um, that is designed for circuit racing. So when we talk about designed for circuit racing, both from elements of speed and from elements of safety. Um, everything you see on the race car um, is not only for cosmetics or the look, it is actually um, part of the um, racing package from endurance, uh, from uh, aerodynamics, uh, so it's a major um, aspect of what we do in the racetrack. Yeah, so this is us in the car. Um, obviously, this is my office when I'm in when I'm in race mode. We've got um, six point seatbelt system, so it's uh, similar to other motorsport style of um, buckling up, which is extremely important. We also have safety nets, and I've got a safety net as well on this side that I buckle up and I click in once in the race car, um, very little source of ventilation, two points in this car, um, cockpit is usually very very hot, um, but something that we're used to. We have a drinking system as well uh, that's linked to the car and to my helmet, we've got a radio system for communication, but it's also a very important part from the safety element because the team inform you about what's happening on the circuit. Um, we've got different elements with traction control, mapping system, ABS systems, fuel readings and information. I was first introduced to motorsports when I was about seven or eight years old uh, through my brother who um, took me to a racetrack which still exists, which is the Oman Automobile Association. And from there I've always felt that motorsports was always running through my veins. I think racing is important to me um, because it's a way of life for me personally. It's very difficult uh, to really describe it in, in a sentence or describe it in, in words. I, I believe personally racing has made me a better person. Um, you know, I, in the past uh, when I was younger I would never have proper ideas of what I wanted to do in life. But I think now if you ask me what's my two year, three year, four year, five year plan, I think it's pretty clear. It's not always going to go according to plan because based on what things happen and how things change. But I think um, racing um, is a big part of me and also my family now. When I first started racing, you know, safety isn't what we're talking about today. Um, safety in our sports keeps improving from year to year. But now I look at safety in a different manner um, because I've been exposed to, I mean, the majority of my races are in the UK and, and Europe. They are more advanced and ahead in terms of safety and, and protocols and procedures compared to the Middle East. You know, this is not, um, uh, not something unknown, it's for sure. We see it from road to race circuits. Um, but I think what I've been exposed to in, in the championships I race in Europe has really helped me understand how important it is. I've been always told something and I will, will always remember that. If you can afford it, buy it. With regards to safety, um, we don't race in, in, in any championship without making sure it's safe to race with. So we have protocols and procedures. The championships we race in are top championships. So we follow a very, very strong code of uh, practice, which makes the driver and makes the team a lot more comfortable knowing that they're in a safe environment. I remember the first accident I had was in Bahrain in the Middle East Championship in 2006 and it took me such a long time to get over it. It took me a long time and really depressed and upset about it and thinking about it over and over again and what could I have done and what couldn't I have done. But that is part of the experience and part of the learning process. The accident that happened in uh, Spa Franc Show during the 24 hour race in 2014 happened at about 2 o'clock in the morning. coming 
went through uh, uh, Blancchimo um, spawn and um, I didn't have any time to react. Um, basically it was a matter of do I go right or do I go left? Left was a concrete wall, right was a patch of grass. I took the patch of grass that was, you know, was the best option rather than hitting the spinning car. Um, but it spun me back into the direction of the wall. And um, for me, I could, um, I was just a passenger and I just held on and it happened so fast, you know. Um, it was, uh, I, I remember, I mean, I was conscious until it happened and then just, I lost consciousness for a slight, uh, for a slight time until um, I remember before losing consciousness that someone was already coming to take me from the car and that's 10 seconds, um, to be honest, from the impact. So, you know, I thank the marshals and I thank them for their professionalism for sure. Looking at the state of the car and understanding what had happened, um, you believe in the roll cage, you believe in the barrier system, you believe in the quick response system, you believe in the medics and the paramedics, you believe on um, the precautions after and, and the recovery period. So it's, it's, it's a process that you, know, you, you build upon. Um, and we've seen it, if it's not with me, we've seen it with other racing drivers and what happens and so on and so forth. After understanding more about the sport, is motorsport really dangerous? I would say yes. Is football dangerous? I would say yes. Is horse riding dangerous? I would say yes. But if you take correct precautions and measures, you're doing the best you can to protect yourself. So if you go horse riding without a helmet, that's irresponsible of you. Our race suits and overalls have expiry dates on them. Our seat belts have expiry dates on them. So. Uh, we are at a, at a professional controlled environment.